Hi everyone, it's Miriam from Miriam's Nature. I haven't done a swirl in a while and I kind of miss them. So I pulled out these colors to do one. I pulled out turquoise, brilliant magenta, and yellow ochre, all from Artist Loft. And I pulled out the iridescent medium. I'm gonna use this in my white to give it like a pearlescent quality to add a little something to the swirl. And then I also wanna try something else. Instead of just keeping the cup in the same spot as you pour out the paint, I kinda wanna know what would happen if you moved the cup. Like, you know, like you traveled with the cup as you poured out the paint. I I'm guessing somebody else must have tried this, but I haven't and I have no clue what's gonna happen, so I wanna know. So let's try that and see what happens. After mixing some colors, I felt like I needed something else, so I made a green too. All right, let's make this cup. And now for the final color. Time to spread some white paint. Okay, I'm gonna start. Ooh, this is not dripping well. That's an issue right there. I had hoped that pinching this cup was gonna make it easy to pour, but it's dribbling down the side instead. It's a pretty peppermint little pattern going on here, but I'm not sure how to pour this now. I'm stuck. I had thought that if I put things in a taller, thinner cup like this, rather than the short, wider cups I usually use, that that would be easier, but I think it's making it gonna make it harder. So we're gonna have to make lemonade out of this lemon. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get it to pour properly, and if not, we'll just make something pretty out of whatever comes out of this cup and however it comes out, because paint has been mixed. All right, now it's okay. It was a hard start, but now... Okay. I don't know where to take this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty in there. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Huh. Now, what do we do with this? Hmm, I don't know what to do with it. It's, oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I covered up the whole little peppermint thing that was going on there, so that's fine. So it was a hard way to start the cup, but once the beginning fell, the rest came out okay. Well, I'm gonna... Move it a little bit just to see what happens. I'm okay with dripping off this end here. Let's see if we go that way a little. I kind of want to open it up a little bit, but... Oh, wow. I like this color palette very much. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a second and think. I'm going to see if I can open it up a little bit more. Oh, no, not that way. I wish there was a way to stretch this out, but I don't see a way without messing up that. So I'm just going to have to be okay with this being tight because this is so cool. And I really like this little purpley thing that happened when the teal and the magenta hit each other. I like this. 
It kind of reminds me of like an elf's hat. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna let it run off a little. I want to see if I can get that to the edge because it's opening this up more, which is good. I don't want to lose this purple. And I want to try to get this teal over. Uh, I have never tilted something so slowly because I want to, I don't want to go ah and then be in an unrecoverable spot. So I want to be able to stop if I have to. Okay, that's going over now. I like this motion now too. Yeah, I'm starting to <clears throat> like this now more. Because before I liked the elf hat, but it looked it was a little too I don't know. It was a little too elf hat. It was cute, but that's not what I was going for. Okay, so now what's happened is this has sort of formed this straight line, which I'm not loving. And I don't want to keep tilting just to get that to happen. So what I'm going to do instead is load up the white paint here so that it pulls what's happening off the edge. That's my hope. So let's zoom in to see if we can get that to happen. Right now the paint is ending right here. So if I can wait it, I'm hoping that overloading this area with paint will make it want to fall off the edge. And hopefully pull this with it. Oh no, it's actually going that way more. Hmm. Did not see that coming. Well, that's okay too if it goes that way. I just didn't like that straight line. I can't help myself. Now I have to do this. I will pull a little off the ends. So there is, if I touch it very lightly and then pull, I maintain the lines. Okay, yeah. Oh, this is definitely working for me. Hey, hey. Curious about this. I'm really having to resist swiping over there. I'm just not going to. I'm only doing it here, but I, oh, this, this little point right here says swipe me, swipe me. And so does that one, but ah, uh, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I am fighting those. I'm trying not to look at them because they're just calling me. Do you hear them? Because <laughs> I can't not hear them. So I'm really looking away. I'm trying to avert my eyes. Oh, 
I like how this looks like some little creature kind of being born from this thing. I think I should be done. I think I should stop. It's really, really pretty. And I'm trying to teach myself some restraint because the little tendril-y girl in me wants to make tendrils all over the place. But, but then I think that would take away from the awesomeness that is <laughs> this ribbon. Oh my gosh. I can't. Yeah, so this tendril, this little point makes me want to go out, and this little point makes me want to go out. But it says, swipe me, swipe me. They both say, swipe me, swipe me. But I think that I should let it be now, because if I do more, I'm going to take away from it, I believe. I think that as much as I want to add little tendrils everywhere, because that's so what I love to do, I think they would compete with this amazing color here. And I think I want the eye to make this path and not be interrupted by too much stuff coming off of it. And I don't mind that it happens here, because I got my little fix over here, and it kind of makes you take this trip, I think. So, I am calling this done. And I am going to use this color palette again. All right, I'm weak. I turned this around, and I, I can't, I can't. I think when I let this dry, every time I look at this, I'll think, I should have swiped that out. <laughs> I, I, I will resist that one. Because there's enough going on over there, but no, I can't. <laughs> I just can't. I, I, I have to. And there are two of them. There's this one and this one. I kind of, yeah. Let's just do this. And then I swear I'll let it go. I mean, really, look at that thing. It just, just, it's screaming. We need to put it out of its misery. Uh, okay, fine. We need to put it out of my misery, so... <laughs> Let's just, let's just, I'm just doing it. Okay, but which... I'm gonna come this way. No, I need it to be wider than that. <clears throat> see, there's paint under the white. I can see it. not curvy enough. Oh man, I hope I don't live to regret this. And I need one more because I don't like even number things. Even if it's a little tiny one, I need a third. Okay, now I'm done. Woo! Let's let this dry. Okay, here are shots of it dry, with all the little details intact. This was a fun test with lots of potential. And cute caterpillars. <laughs> Tell me what you see. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more paint, alcohol, ink, and resin tips, techniques, and ideas for your art. Please click Amazon links in any of my video description boxes before heading to Amazon to shop. It really helps me to get supplies so that I can make more videos. Thanks for your help. Let your creative nature shine. See you later. Bye now.